This is my camera bag for the year of 2022. Are you listening? Let's get it. Damn. What's going on, everybody? My name is Of course, you're watching Mega Mass Now, welcome to What's in My Camera Bag 2022. I just want to make this video because this is the setup that I'll be going into 2022 working with. Uh, I have done a couple of shoots already so far, not only video shoots, I've done a photo shoot now with this exact gear. So this is what I'm using and this is what I'm gonna be using for the next while until everything comes in to upgrade it. And then once I do it, I'm gonna do it, upgrading my setup, upgrading my gear, all that type of stuff type videos. Whew, here we go. First up, we got the actual camera bag itself. Uh, this is the G Raffi green interior camera bag. Uh, but first off, we're gonna go off what I have on the outside in a way. Boom, moving on to the side pocket, here we go. Boom, we got a Mega Matt Studios face mask. Okay, then moving on to the very front pocket, here we go. Boom, here we go, we got the Genie, the G, the G-I-I-N, double I, SD card, hard drive, case. I bought it for like $6 at Walmart and it holds everything I need. And then moving on all the way to the back. Uh, on the back we got three big ass foam pads. I thought that that would help me out a lot when I first got it, but the only thing this does is make my back extremely hot in certain places. I have this photo my friend took of my back sweat from this bag. It's disgusting, but it's also hysterical. But when we open up the bag, it's a laptop uh, sleeve. We got my Lenovo uh, Yoga laptop. It's like a 15 inch. I don't actually know. Off the top of my head, I got it like six months ago. Only really use it like once in a blue moon. It's it's like top of the line. I bought it when it first came out. It's better than my streaming and editing PC. Ooh, okay, now we're done with the outside. Now it's time to get into the goalie myth. The inside of the camera bag. Here we go. Starting off with the main beast, we got my camera. We got Ace, my Canon T7i. This thing's a monster. On it, I also do have my Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens. So that normally just fits in right here. I do like this camera bag only because I do always have a uh, battery grip on it. So it is, in a way, uh, suitable for a pro-sized camera. pro size having the extra large body, even though it's just a battery grip. Inside the top pocket as well, I also do carry a little point and shoot uh, carrying case with, you guessed it, my cell phone charger. I don't actually carry the point and shoot in here anymore. And then next we have my brand new camera strap I just got. It's really nice. It's a brown pleather camera strap. I got it because I want to have two signature camera straps, one of them for my DSLRs. So every time I'm using a digital camera, I kind of want to use this camera strap. It has uh, cool little camera pins. But I also want to get one for my film cameras, but I want that one to be the Peter Parker camera strap from The Amazing Spider-Man. Now on the top, we actually do carry a film camera with me. I try to always use a film camera nowadays. Uh, it is a Kodak Vintage M35, which I do still actually have film in. Here, let's take a picture and say cheese. Ooh. Okay, moving on to the rest of the camera bag. Right here in this middle pocket, I keep my laptop charger. Okay, now moving down to lenses. Boom, Lyto, 85 millimeter F1.8 manual lens. This is the lens that was given me in the sponsorship. I uh, have not made the video on it yet. I really want to, because I fell in love with this lens. Next up, we got my kit lens. This is the Canon 18 to 55 millimeter uh, STM lens. This is, I consider it the Mark III out of the big three kit lenses. Here we go, next up another lens to which I really am debating on with timing. The only reason I keep it is for the long focal length. This is the Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens. And then moving down a little bit, we got two little accessories right here. One of them is a business card wallet, which I do keep business cards in here. You know, if, if I'm out and uh, potentially want to go to a business, drop them off a business card, say if they need photography and videography done, you drop that off. And then along with a solar power battery bank, this is 15,000 milliamps. Solar charger, it charges off the sun, or you can obviously USB charge it. This charges two devices at a time. It could charge my phone, I think three times over. Okay, moving down over here, we have my grill pod. Uh, I don't actually ever use this. This also might be getting retired. This is the Joby Grill Pod 3K kit. And then below the grill pod, I do keep some uh, filters. I have some for my kit lenses, and then some for my 10 to 18. 
Okay, then moving on to this final pocket down here, I keep a couple of different things. One of them is my point and shoot. My Canon Elf 300 HS. This is my second one that I've had to get because uh, the first one I lost. And then this one is also starting to break. Uh, I have been desperately looking for as many as I can because I go through these like Tic Tacs. Boom, here we go, we got batteries. This is a little battery pack. Uh, okay, it's two batteries for my Canon T7i. Now the only reason I do actually carry the battery pack with me is because you could charge it via battery bank, which is something that I desperately wish that the Canon cameras can do. And okay, then the last thing down here, we got a little battle song. You know, from Kick-Ass, that's where I first saw these. Moving on to actually up here. So I have the little pocket right here where I normally always keep extra dividers. And then right here in this big sleeve is normally meant for like notebooks. It's, it's also meant for your laptop, but I also once in a while carry my headphones. These are what I would consider the best headphones in the world. These are my Cronin E7s. Say what you want about how they look, I absolutely love them. I, and I use it every single day now for the gym. They're noise canceling. I use them with my laptop when I'm editing. They're really nice sounding and I just and they fold up real easily so I could just put them away. So this is my camera bag setup of 2022. Now I am planning on using it a lot more now that I'm trying to get back into photography and hopefully videography and start making that a source of income. But yes, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. All of the links to every product in this video will be down in the description box below. Please go check it out along with my kit page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys to death and don't forget, stay green. I can't keep writing songs about the things I left behind. I spent way too much time